So the Phantoms pretty much full strength. We will have Ewan King in goal. And for the Basing Soap Bison, one or two absentees, including perhaps significantly Grant Rounding. And uh, looking at that list, I'm looking at the Basing Soap Bison lineup and those names that we've seen so many times here in Peterborough Kurt Reynolds, Dan Scott, Baird, oh, Ivan Antonoff over the last couple of years, obviously Karpoff, Connolly, lots of experience, bags of experience, a side that really the Phantoms have struggled to get the better of in the last couple of years. And here's Will Weldon with an opportunity of a break. He's on his own. Weldon, little deke, goes top shelf, but it's wide. Reynolds there looking to break it out of the Bison zone. It goes long and loose, and uh, it's, it's there, it's in front of the goal. Bison are claiming it. It was pushed over the net. It's an interesting thing, it went over the line. Phantoms, Phantoms um, definitely protesting that, but there's going to be no argument. Here we go with the slow-mo. It stopped initially, it's in front. And yeah, literally, it's pushed in by... Let's see if we can see it. No, we don't get to see it. Let's see if we can see it on the ultra slow-mo. Um, so Malnick go, takes the initial shot and it's followed in. I still can't make out that player in the middle. But basically, it doesn't look like it was pushed by a skate. It wasn't pushed by a stick, it was a skate, but I didn't see a kicking motion. So, we've now got Nathan Carmichael consulting with Miller, so we'll see what happens. So my view on that is that the uh, the forward is the person that propelled Ewan King into the net. Yeah. And I, th I think there is, I, I think there's a reasonable call for a netminder interference. He was in the blue paint, on the goal line, pushed into Ewan King. I think the goal's gonna be given anyway. Yeah, so it's going to be 1 0. Weldon does well to keep it in. Goes back down the corner to Padalek. Padalek goes cross ice to Norton. Norton in, that is a goal! Fantastic shot. Norton just tips it across. That was Scott Robson there in front of the goal. Just a really gentle redirect. We can see it here. Robson in front of the goal. He gets nudged forward by Baird, and that just helps his redirect. Straight through, Skins five hole, and Phantoms draw level. 10 minutes, 36 gone in the first period. And the score is now Phantoms one, Bison one. Goal! So that's fired in, all the way from the blue line from Reynolds. King unsighted into the postage stamp at the top, right hand corner of King's goal. Don't think he got redirected, but there was probably traffic in front. Yeah, it was a great goal to watch. You can see the putt gets passed out, it goes to the point. Reynolds there looks, it kind of looks like he's going to dump it in, but uh, just gives it an extra little bit of welly and goes far down. And that was a beautiful goal to watch. Just a shame it was against us, really. But yeah, um, right, so Weldon goes to centre it, but now it's back to Pick. Pick takes it along the blue, chips it. Unfortunately, bounced off Dan Davis and it goes out. Now it's uh, Dan Davis with a shot. He went glove side, medium high. Deflection there from Pick and just no one chasing it down. So, quick look now at the replay. So we see Dan Davis there. He's got the puck. Pick's closing in, but not enough. Takes his time, shoots. He wrong foots. He wrong foots Ewan King. Goes glove side. And it's 3-1 Bison with four minutes ten gone in the second period. Phantoms have responded well. Good pressure in the, in the last couple of moments. A wraparound chance there, Padalek. Goal! Well, Alice Padalek had a go at it. Had a, the chance at the wraparound. Steals the puck from Kurt Reynolds. And it's into the net. What a finish from Alex Padalek, who in truth has been fairly anonymous up to this moment in time, Dan. But that's a lovely finish. That man knew where the net was. 
Yeah, absolutely. It'll, it'll be an unassisted goal, unfortunately, for everyone else. But he went for the wraparound on the side. And it was Reynolds just palmed it away. And Ferrara, good play from those two. Oh, and uh, close. Well, this play perhaps deserves the equaliser from the Phantoms. And the Phantoms are going to get caught again. Antonov, number 24. Great finish from Ivan Antonov. The Phantoms have got a court twice in this period. The shot batted down, but Antonov with a great turn of speed high into the net. Yeah, you can see here there's a turnover there. Antonov forced the puck out. He's gotten the one man charge up the net. He's gone glove side high, which really should be King's strongest side. But Antonov, youngster, with he's got an eye for the puck way beyond his years. And we said that when he was with the Bees as well. Just watch as he stops, he takes his shot. It's almost like King's watching the puck rather than the player. Through traffic, it's knocked away. Bison go around the back of the net. Karpov looks for the... Karpov going for the wraparound, but again. It's off the net. Net's off the moorings. And that goes back to Kurt Reynolds. Reynolds has got the options. Taken out by James Ferrara. Perfectly reasonable hit. So it was... Uh, Billing there going, yeah. yes! I was about to say, Billing going for the shot, scuffing it. It goes to Ferrara, Ferrara just knocks it out. And it was uh, Darius Plaskowskis picks it up and puts it away. Super califragilistic, Darius Plaskowskis with uh, number three for the Phantoms. Great work from uh, Ferrara behind the goal. Just seeing this on the replay, comes out to Plaskowskis, the one-timer underneath Skins. One goal in it, 4-3. I really don't think we can underestimate the importance of that goal. The Phantoms have scored there through Pliskowski, as they did through Padalek in the second period, through periods of extended pressure. Greg Pick is the sole do man. It's a two on one break. Saved by Ewan King. Well, good. Some tired legs out there. A lot of games in a relatively short period of time. And the Phantoms are at home again on Thursday. So. James Ferrara, good play. Oh, the chance, that was the one. Oh. Oh, dear me. Well, your view on the uh, TV screens at home might well have been better than mine. Close for the Phantoms. Get a whistle on the play, it's icing. Those defensemen are going to stay out there. Dan, over to you. Yeah, I'm not going to be surprised. I think we're going to see a call for a timeout in a moment. Tom Norton takes out his man. We need something on goal, Tom. Oh, it's not there. 30 seconds. Icing again. Back out. Oh, Pliskowskis has fluffed his lines on the blue line. And that will be the game. So, so yeah, the final score here after 60 minutes, Phantoms three, Bison four. Again, a one goal game. Uh, as we're the last time and again, the empty net just begging for a goal and uh, not coming.